I'm on. <laughs> Hi, I'd like to welcome everyone to our first um, online reception. Um, my name is Lise Fuller, and I am in Glens Falls, New York, which is in the Adirondacks. Our society is called the Adirondack Pastel Society, but we are, we stretch, we have a big, big area that we cover. And to give some idea, we are close to, we are closer to Montreal than we, we are to New York City. Um, I, our members are scattered throughout this area, even down to Albany. And um, and this new world of online presence has been really good for us. So we're, we're doing Zoom meetings and I'm having lots of participation. And, um, and this slide show along with this whole reception is going to be on our YouTube section, our YouTube area on our website. I think I said that right because I'm not really good about this. So the, I really wanted to thank Corey and Dave, Corey and Dave, Corey Pitkin, and Dave Francis. Dave Francis is our main exhibit guy, and Corey is behind the scenes making this all possible. And I so appreciate this, because this is a whole new world for me. Uh, and I also want to thank Karen for like sticking with us and making this whole thing happen. I also want to acknowledge our Adirondack Pastel Society. We are a, a group of Pastel artists, we, we work together, we know each other, and I am amazed at just how good we are. As I look at those slides, I'm amazed at, at the quality of work. Um, I never realized what a gift we had in Glens Falls or the Adirondacks with our community art world. We have so much support, so much ways of exhibiting, and I, and we've all worked together and learned together and it's you don't realize what you have until it's you can't do it anymore and so we are um so i want to acknowledge our wonderful art community um we have more stuff to thank um we have um i think when i look at that slideshow i realize that we like creativity is the essence of life and i know that sounds corny but I'm, I just feel so lucky and grateful that I am here in Glens Falls, surrounded by all these incredible pastel artists and also other artists. And I just hope that that is the way for anybody who is interested in art, that they have a local community that supports them and appreciates them. And it's, it's the best. So I'm going to say cheers to everybody. Thank you for being there. Onward. Corey. Okay. Corey, are you there? <laughs> Hello? Dave, you're up. I'm up. All right. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Dave Francis. I'm the national show chair for the Adirondack Pastel Society. Uh, I'll echo a lot of what Lisa just said, uh, welcoming everybody. This is our sixth annual um, Adirondack National Pastel Exhibition, our first time ever trying it online. Um, I just want to say these uh, certainly are weird and challenging times that we're living in as artists, and I think it's a real testament to the artistic spirit that, uh, you know, in these times we are creating incredible art and uh, finding new and interesting ways to get the art out there and seen. Uh, this show, I think, is an example of that. We uh, had to change things up in the middle of our entry window. Uh, when we realized we couldn't have a physical show, uh, we decided to take the show online. 
and uh, extended the uh, deadline date for entry. And I think the results that you see here uh, for this show is, uh, is the result of that. We had uh, over 160 pieces of art entered, which is close to a record for our show. And our juror, uh, Karen Israel, selected 70 uh, for the slideshow or for the online show. We had entries come in from Japan, uh, England, as well as Israel, uh, all across the US again. So, uh, you know, it, it turned out to be a, a really terrific show. And, uh, you know, you can uh, see it uh, on the, uh, our Pastel Society webpage uh, has been up since Wednesday. Uh, let's see, as I said earlier, these are, are, are really strange times. And I would just like to add that uh, this is, probably the only art reception I've attended where I'm wearing cargo shorts and sandals. Um, at this point, I would like to uh, introduce our juror, um, Karen Israel. Karen, Karen was both our selections and our awards juror this year. Uh, I just see a note from uh, Shuckley, we had 160 pieces of art entered. So, um, let's see, Karen is a master circle artist with the IAPS, which, the, which is the international group. She is a master pastelist with the Pastel Society of America. She was in my group in 2014. And she also sits on the Board of Governors with Pastel Society of America. She has graciously offered to uh, talk about our awards and uh, talk a little bit about our show and, and her choices for the awards. So I'll hand it over to Karen now. Hi, everyone. Um, I want to say um, thank you so much to the Adirondack Pastel Society, uh, Dave and Lise, for um, inviting me uh, to do this. and. Um, you know, trusting me with this task um, and of uh, during the show. I'm really sad I didn't get to meet all of you. We had planned for me to come and spend a bunch of days up there and I was going to jury it in person and um, do the awards in person and teach workshop. And so this was all online and uh, that, you know, it was hard to adjust to that. Um, and anyhow, but, um, and uh, I, I, when I looked at this show um, online and juried it, um, the things I look for in the paintings in general, overall in selections were um, a sense of light in the work. Um, you know, how is the light described? Um, what was the design like? That's really important to me, composition. And, um, you know, if the composition was exciting and there was great lighting, you know, it floated my boat. Um, drawing was important, so, um, you know, that I kind of gave uh, virtual points to well-drawn uh, pieces, and um, emotional impact was the other thing, you know, just pieces that, wow, you know, moved me, made me laugh, made me feel sad, um, you know, so that, that's, what I, that's what I looked at when I juried the show all around. Um, and then, you know, selection of awards, I mean, you know, the, that was the hardest because they all deserve an award. Um, I also want to say, you know, thanks for the people who did enter the show and for the people, the, all the people, whether they were selected or not, it takes a lot of courage to enter these shows. And uh, I hope everyone keeps paint, painting and, you know, I'm only one opinion. There's many opinions out there. You know, it's like, you know, you have one painting uh, and uh, one painting and you get... 10 artists and you have 100,000 opinions. So um, these are my opinions. Um, and I'm ready now to, uh, if uh, Corey wants to start rolling the awards, um, you know, the, the paintings, I'm ready to talk about the specifics. Okay. So let me just get rid of my... Okay, so um, this painting is, uh, I believe, there's not a name, but, oh, there it is, uh, David Francis and it's Jubilee. And um, 
this painting, I just thought, how fun is this? Like it just, you know, the colors, the cherries, I love that it was sitting on the wood. Um, the little bits of green going every which way, um, I found very interesting. Um, and that negative space um, above the cherries, I thought was, you know, a rich dark. And um, I just thought that was really well done. The cherries are rendered very intensely and had a surreal quality. Um, and then against that neutral wood and ba uh, paper bag, um, that, that just worked, you know, I thought that worked really well and um, was very eye-catching. And so congratulations, Dave. <laughs> Okay, and this painting, um, I really love this portrait. Um, it, um, this is by um, Andrea, oh, forgive me if I don't pronounce right, uh, Tazewski, Renee at 10. And um, first of all, this portrait, the, the, um, the model has an attitude right away, and I love the attitude. <laughs> it's like, what's up with you, you know? And, or that's what I took out of it. I don't know what the artist intended, but um, it, it just shows this young girl um, that has a stare, and um, it, it almost borders on uncomfortable. Like, I look at it and I feel a little uncomfortable, but I like that feeling of that, you know, intense intimacy. Um, the tilt of her head, the expression created, created by the brows really added to the feeling. And um, I really appreciated, as I looked at it more closely, all that line work. Um, if you look down at her hair, at the lower part, and, you know, it's just very delicately, you know, not overdone. And yet there's a lot of form and light on this piece. So congratulations for a beautiful, um, a beautiful work. Oh, and I was so digging that um, pink reflected light um, under her neck. Um, something else I noticed that I just, like, fell in love with. Um, okay. <laughs> All right. And the next honorable mention goes to, um, waiting for the name to come up. It's Christine Casal, Expectant Mothers. <laughs> and look at the light. Intense drama um, was the first thing I thought, wow, this is dramatic. I mean, it's just sheep in a barn, but it's a really dramatic painting. Um, the window has this chromatic purple. Um, and that added a sense of mystery to me um, and to the inside of the barn as well. And that the yellowish shapes of the hay and the wooden, um, the wooden crate or pen or whatever that is that the sheep feed into, that broke the space up really nicely. And the composition of the sheeps in different directions, um, going left, going right, it just really thought it was a well done uh, piece of work. So congratulations, uh, Chris. Hi, and this is the BJS Artworks Award going to Ingrid Van Slyke, The Road Home. And, uh, oh, this piece, um, that snow scene, you know, really caught my attention. It really captured the color of the light um, with interesting, really interesting mark making and consistent cast shadows. A lot of beautiful texture um, in the foreground and then less so as you go back into space. So there is like an atmospheric perspective that I thought was very well done. Um, let's see, I, I, I took some notes. Um, uh, let's see, I lost my place. Ah, sorry. Um, yeah, the, those cast shadows really make this painting. Um, and, uh, and uh, just beautiful, beautiful work. So congratulations, Ingrid. Okay, and this is Past Society of Western New York Award, Andrew McDermott, The Red Door. And um, yeah, this piece, um, first of all, the artist showed a clear uh, um, understanding of composition, value, and color. That red door drew me right in. Um, and I enjoyed looking at all the different colors inside each window. So each window is different um, in color, in shape, in value, you know, and that made this piece have a feeling of, uh, you know, very painterly quality, even though it's, you know, sharp edges um, in, in many places. Um, I love that diagonal cast shadow um, coming off of the vertical pole that just gives a diagonal where one is very needed. And this artist knew just where to put it, um, that diagonal shadow. I wish I could point, but I guess I don't know how to do that in this technology. 
um, the writing um, down below, you know, um, at the bottom of the building, the calligraphy on that white part, um, it's detailed and yet delicate at the same time. It's not overpowering. Anytime you have symbols or words, sometimes that can take away from your painting. It makes you focus there, but this just added this pleasant detail. And it's an interesting, I don't know if this is another language or this is just graffiti, but whatever it is, it just, I, I just loved it. <laughs> Little detail. Um, it's just a, a masterful painting. Um, so congratulations, uh, Andrew. Okay, and this is the Still Life Award. It goes to Jerry Greenberg for Glass and Shadows. I chose this piece for its wonderful mark making and simplified larger shapes. Um, you know, I really enjoyed the lack of detail in this one um, and that I could tell the artist left a lot of the paper showing, which gave the whole piece a sense of color harmony. Um, so, you know, the paper isn't filled in. If you look around the, the foreground and the background, it's not filled in um, except for maybe the cherries and the flowers um, and the stems. And um, of course the glass is masterly done master for <laughs> sorry master fully done um and those those cherries really balance the dark tones that are in the flowers so if um the flowers had remained in my opinion all light and the cherries were dark the eye would go down but because there's a dark above it just makes this painting makes the viewer or me look all the way around this painting not just stay in one place so congratulations, uh, Jerry, you really added a lot of drama to this simple subject. And, um, okay. Um, ah, okay, this is the Landscape Award, Mary Tallman, Plein Air Sam Houston Monument is the title. Um, I didn't need to know that this was Plein Air. I, I, I didn't even look at titles. Of course, I didn't look at names. I looked at this piece and I went, wow, that's a great Plein Air piece. I knew it. Um, it's just gorgeous, and uh, I love the bits of red showing all the way through the foreground and a little bit into the distant trees, um, and there's warm tones under that blue sky. I'm assuming, I don't know, but that this was done on a piece of paper that was toned red, or maybe that part was underpainted red, but it's a really, you know, really pulls this painting together. The drawing's excellent. Um, it... it uh, um, there's some really confident strokes and the values are like spot on. Um, really, really interesting. Um, I like the man-made structures amid the landscape. Um, you know, the statues pointing in one direction, but then somehow I still move to those structures that are on the upper right. I don't just stay at that structure. I, you know, I start with that light shape at the lower right, go up to the statue, and then my eye goes over to those other um you know buildings and you know to me this is uh has an abstract quality even though it's representational just a really gorgeous piece congratulations mary um ah this is um the portrait award going to will schneider anastasia um i love the downward gaze of this work this portrait um the gentle placement of the right hand and the red jacket with its calligraphy um, were all elements that I found really wonderful to explore. Um, I noticed the many layers of color and varieties in the subject's skin tone um, and uh, the confident mark making and diagonal swipe of that background um, really unifies the whole composition. Um, it's a loose backdrop against the you know, portrait and the figure and then the diagonals of her arms and then the darks of the cuffs of the sleeve so, um, you know, there's just, this piece is simple yet intricate and just absolutely gorgeous. Congratulations, Mr. Schneider. Um, okay, so third place goes to Carol Peebles for pa Patak Philip Double Moon. <laughs> As a narrative, this portrait made me wonder so many things. I wanted to know what's the meaning of the repetitive circular shapes? on her arm, her earrings, the tattoo, the background. Who is this person and what is she about? The opposing diagonals of her headband and scarf are like a wonderful counterbalance to those round shapes. The light falling over the subject pulled me right into this work and the adept use of color, temperature, and value on the skin tones expertly applied. 
um, that headband and those circular, even her breast, it's like circular, you know, um, it's, it's just beautiful, but then you have angles and it's a brilliant piece. Um, congratulations, Carol. I really loved it. Okay, and now we're down to, this is second place, goes to Ayal Maimon and birthday party three. <laughs> and this piece makes me happy. Um, first of all, that magenta, right? To die for the color. But aside from that, um, the, look at that composition and um, the bowl, that orange bowl in the center, you'd think, oh, I better not do that because that's kind of in the center. Well, this artist made it work. You know, she broke a rule and she made that rule somehow, you know, in, intentionally or not. I move around this room. I'm looking at every cat. You've got the, you've got the, the cat coming off to the upper left, creeping in the scene. You have one half off the page. Um, let's see what other notes I wrote. Um, this design just was so striking to me. Um, it's, um, I just, uh, let's see. Right, and I also love that each cat felt like its own separate personality, and each cat has its own unique gesture. So there's one on the right that was like stretched out, re reaching for the food. Um, the intense blue background, that's such a wonderful, soothing choice to balance the hot colors um, of the orange and the magenta. So congratulations, y'all, beautiful, beautiful work. And last but not least, we have Best in Show, Corey Pitkin, Hodgepodge. Wow, I love this piece. I saw it, you know, I may be in another show or online somewhere, but I just was amazed by the um, edges of this piece. Um, it's such a striking design and a narrative, and it's, it's a narrative of opposites. That's how I see it. I don't know if that's what Corey was thinking when he painted it. Um, the subject of this painting, a child, it's he's all soft-edged and dark compared to the sharper edges of those white, the white shapes of the paper, that that gave such a strong framework, nestling this child in a cozy environment. And, and you can feel the intensity of this little kid's work, his, his coloring or his artwork. He's very intense. And, um, and yet he's in a comfortable, homey scene. Um, the reflection coming down, that vertical coming down from perhaps, I guess it's the books behind the figure, um, that's also a wonderful touch. And then you have the crayon, perhaps that is, on the right that's on a diagonal. That shape, I mean, if that shape wasn't there, the painting would be not as, I mean, it's a gorgeous painting, but I just thought, like, that's a brilliant touch, you know? And then all those objects on the back, on the dresser, they all add to this piece. Nothing takes, you know, there's not one thing that takes anything away. So um, I just, it's just a brilliant piece. And, um, it just paint the painting tugged at my emotional heartstrings. I mean, maybe because I had kids, I have grandkids, you know. Um, at the same time, I just found it a pleasing abstract um, concept. So congratulations, Corey, for best in show. And that's all, folks. <laughs> Is someone gonna finish up or? Yeah, I will be. Okay. Thank you, Karen. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, we really appreciate all of your uh, your hard work and uh, putting this show together. It really, uh, I think, is one of the uh, most powerful shows we've done out of the six years. It's gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. Well, I obviously liked it. I obviously <laughs> liked it, right? Yeah. yeah. So, just in a, a quick wrap up here. Um, one I want to thank Lee Spuller and the Board of uh, Adirondack Pastel Society for you know, supporting uh, the efforts to get this show together. I uh, really want to thank Corey Pitkin for his expertise because he put this show online in a very short uh, time frame that we gave him, and it looks tremendous. I um, also want to thank uh, everyone that entered the show this year. And the recognition to all those that were selected and, you know, to our award winners. Um, I look forward to hopefully next year we'll be back together in a physical setting where we can enjoy uh, each other's company and the artwork. Please take advantage of uh, going to AdirondackPastelSociety.com. Uh, view the show in your leisure. Um, really uh, look at the pieces. 
And uh, this is usually the point of the reception where I say we still have plenty of food and beverages left. Um, I don't know about all you folks, but I still have plenty left in my fridge. So uh, I just want to say thank you uh, to everybody involved and uh, good night. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. I hope we can all see each other sooner than later. Hopefully soon. Hopefully soon, yeah. I hope so. Be in touch. All right. Okay. Thank you.